Hey there, welcome to Table Talk. You know the deal, but they've got some faces here that are kind of cool, right? Thanks. Go on, have yeah, a look at thank them. thank you. Hi, Stephen Subject. Well, hello, Maude Garrett. How, how's Super Panic Friends are going? It's going better than ever. Hey. Who would have thought? Hey there, Jeremy. Uh, hi. How's running the whole company going? <laughs> oh, it's tremendous. I think it's going great. Yay. <laughs> well, thanks for taking some time off for Table Talk today. Yeah. You know how it goes. Guys, if you want to get your topics in, hashtag Table Talk. Do it on Twitter or on Reddit if you find yourself over there. Reddit.com forward slash r forward slash snoozefeared. And there's a topic there. Or if you want to have a bitch about us, you can do that too because we love reading everything. I'd love to have a bitch about us. All right, let's see what we got. I love people that are confused about that edit point just there. Uh, Grace Jean <laughs> asks, source fed nerd, do nostrils have a scent and we just get used to it? I love this. That's a weird question. Uh, but as it turns out, I have sort of an answer to it. This is so Why? great. Uh, because I, I've actually wondered this myself because I swear to God, the weirdest thing happens to me. I feel like I can smell fried chicken if I go like this. Like what? What do we do? Like, oh, that's not fried chicken for me. It's I just thought, a bad smell. Like, you know, like the cartilage in your nose? Like if you move it around? No. My I, hands smell like french fries because I ate them earlier. I smell fried chicken if I do that. And so I think the answer to your question, Grace Jean, is yes, nostrils have a scent. It is fried chicken and we get used to it. How many people have their fingers on their nose right now trying to do this? One, two, three. Yeah, you just kind of grab the cartilage and you move it around. Subject, you were doing something that I didn't think anyone else could do, and that is, and this is a confession, I don't really want to tell. That no one, that you, can no, you do it no, too? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, was I supposed to launch that or something? Oh, what'd you do with it? I threw it on the ground like yeah, an asshole. Launched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am done with this question. <laughs> yeah, the launcher, and yeah. then you use that to propel it into okay. the lens. What can I do I, that no one else can do? I was always feeling around with your nose right, and can you... Oh, Owen, where were you with that one? <laughs> um, can you block your nostrils with the top of your lip? Can you? Mm, maybe. So here's something that I discovered growing up in Australia with a backyard pool. Um, I would, when I would go underwater, I would I would do that to stop water from going up my nose. And it wasn't until the Christmas when we all got goggles <laughs> that my brothers realised I made this face underwater. You'd plug your nose with your lip, like. Yes. Are you some sort of fish creature? No, no. I'm <laughs> Are you some force? If I start yeah. laughing, I'll try and show you. There it is. You got it, Owen. Yeah. Anyone I'm else? Doing do it? It. Ready? <laughs> How long can you maintain that for, though? Well, when there's water pressure, yeah. if you kind of just do that. I used to do that, too, until I got Oh, yeah, it's hard you to can't do, do it with hair. a mustache. Yeah, it's hard to do with facial hair. You have to rub, uh, like, Vaseline or something in it when you go snorkeling and scuba diving. Gross. <laughs> That's probably mm -hmm. one of the most just, unattractive faces. Yeah, you know? just take, like, a big glob of Vaseline and you just kind of rub it on your mouth and all in your beard. Yeah. <laughs> and then you put on your mask and you have a go. Have a go at what? Uh, you know, <laughs> swimming, <laughs> snorkeling. Are we still talking about the same thing or is this one massive euphemism? <laughs> Can you do it? You got lips, I thought you could. <laughs> oh, I heard it in my ear. We just need to see Sorry, a close buddy. up of that, I think. No one needs to see that face. That was such a <laughs> I have Hobbit Feet asks, if you were to build an army, who, what would make it in the ranks? Can be real or mythological beings, and you can pick more than one thing. I'd probably go technology in, a, in an army. Wait, for what purpose? I mean, I'm guessing an army is to destroy something. What would you be destroying? Hold on, what was the question? Isn't yeah. it just pick your army? Pick your army. Yeah, it says if you could have an army, what would be in your army? But I, I think it's missing a lot of information. I like, do too. Like, who are like, you up against? You're yeah, right. What are you, like, if you're going against the squids of the underwater... Then your your technological army isn't going to be of much use no. because they might not be waterproof or be able to do with this You thing. need the nose <laughs> lip army. Yeah. <laughs> I just that's what they all look like. We are taking over your country. And your planet. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about world domination... Uh, I think you need to go with uh, an insectoid army because there's just more of them and then get into everything. Are you playing StarCraft 2 at the moment? No, I'm not. Oh. A lot of Fallout. Why would I ever stop playing Fallout for oh, any yeah, that's reason? True. That's true. I mean, you may have just had a had a child. I don't even know what I'm doing here today uh, when I could be at home playing Fallout. When's the last frankly. time you've seen your child? Uh, I have a child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we're all gamers here. How long do you have to play a game for you to get the itch? 
And I know you know the itch. You've got the itch now. Mm -hmm. So when you play a really good game and then you try and engage in anything else and you can't stop thinking about it. I don't have the Fallout 4 itch yet. Okay. And I played it for three hours. Well, that's why. You just made your character. No, no, I've wandered around the wasteland, but it's you because... You got a dog? Yeah, it's because I keep um, <laughs> yeah. dying from mines. And it's Where really... Are it's mines? really putting a damper on my experience. Also, what does this have to do with your army? Well, the army, as someone that comes <laughs> from a long bloodline of Nazis... Wow. Really? Which is... Uh, I don't know if that's confirmed. I mean, it can't be that long of a bloodline. It's line. just something that was, was you know, like rumored like around in the old Suptic family. Six, 65, 70 years ago. So by by like rumor, do you it's mean like there's like artwork and paraphernalia on the walls of your home there's growing a couple, up? There or? are a couple Adolf uh, <laughs> singles out there. from. <laughs> I mean, like, portraits, not from when he was in his hit band. Um, I don't know if you're joking, because this is usually something that you don't joke about. <laughs> it's usually something you don't, and uh, I don't know, there's like a rumor, it's this whole thing. It's this, um, but I would definitely try to make my army, um, just an army of good, to just counteract just a lot of nice people out there to just include everyone in the army. Everyone would be in the army, just, you know. Instead of shooting no people, hate they here. just, you know, they, they parachute out of planes, uh, and they run up to... Uh, give you a little kiss. Hug. Yeah, they yeah, run up to give, give you a little, little hug, a little smooch. Not a Nazi. And then... Yeah. Uh, Everything is just counteracted they, from They the have past. to for sure make it clear that they let it be known that they're not a Nazi. It would imagine if someone was running up to you for an aggressive peck. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> like, that would be scary. Steven Suptic is not a Nazi. <laughs> it's a very important thing to... <sighs> okay. Let's um, launch this. Mo moving on. I'm going to go dragons. I, I mean, I've been watching Game of Thrones. I like the idea if they're all, if there's people and they're all lining up there and you have a dragon to do a swoop by blaze on, then you're kind of pretty OP. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet by Blaze on, you're pretty done though. Well done, Morgan. <laughs> Whoa! That was the closest I've ever gotten. Which is sad. Yeah, a little. There you Maybe, go. I, I mean, mean, I hit Owen on my first try. Not bad. So. No, uh, Owen. I'd never hit Owen. You'd never hit him? Because you're not. I'd never hit Owen. Steven Subject is not a Nazi. It's <laughs> a very important statement. Uh, MX Rio, which will kind of look like Mario, but Mario. If you were a video game character. Oh! Yes! <clears throat> what? Food item. What would you choose to regenerate your health? Coffee. What food items would give you a negative side effect? So if you're running along and you want to coffee, because I need to learn um, uh, balance in my life. Hold on, but coffee. How does coffee give you balance? Well, coffee can give you energy, but it can also uh, give you hemorrhoids, because it'll dry you out. What? It makes you dehydrated. <laughs> Is that why you stop drinking coffee? For one day, though. Because you have you hemorrhoids have right now. <laughs> I don't have hemorrhoids. Yeah. So you're basically telling us right now that you have hemorrhoids. And I'm not exactly. a Nazi. Oh okay. God. We're learning a lot about Steven, Steven today. Steven Subtick. <laughs> Dude, what else do you want to put on the table here today? I just don't care anymore, honestly. <laughs> I think that's what's happened, huh? I have no shame. When have you ever? Never. <laughs> Never in my entire life. What's something that you really like about yourself? Um, I think I make good animations. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You should do like an animation about the effects of coffee. Well, they're all, yeah. Well, that would be a gross one. I don't think I don't think coffee gives you hemorrhoids, does it? I, this is you the best me. backpedal I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, because it's like, Cause coffee who gives would you have hemorrhoids? a hemorrhoid? That's what's weird about that. We rewind I mean, you, it back to when he said that. You got him from something. No, you didn't. I didn't get him. <laughs> okay. It's just like, that's what I've heard. That's uh -huh. why I had to stop. It's because uh, someone I, said it in passing. I didn't want to. I think I heard sure. some of it. My friend told me um, he got a hemorrhoid from like drinking coffee. And I thought to myself, well, yeah, I gotta mm -hmm. quit because I don't want a hemorrhoid. Do you care to name this friend or? Damn. Dude, we've just got it <laughs> See, in stars on, on the, the Google. We've done, done some fact checking, oh. and coffee can give you hemorrhoids. Wow, that wasn't something that you plucked from nowhere. That was factual. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk getting a hemorrhoid. Now, <laughs> obviously, I'm back on coffee, which means I haven't gotten a hemorrhoid, and I'm not that worried about getting a hemorrhoid. So, <laughs> hey guys, if you're at home, take a shot of coffee every time he says hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> but real talk, like if you did have a hemorrhoid, what would you even use to like heal it? <laughs> <laughs> Can one pop a hemorrhoid? <laughs> You might want to Google that after this, I think. Yes, Doc, can you give us a good Google yeah. check and uh, find us that best picture of our I'm sure there's like some kind of cream or ointment that can help you out. All right. So anyway, what food items did you choose to regenerate your health and what food items would give you a negative side effect? Anyone but Steven Subtick. 
Uh, positive effect? Yep. Beer. Nice. Yeah. It, I hate it in Witcher how you have beer and it gets you... Yeah, in my Rocky? experience, it makes you more charismatic. Oh. Not a huge fan of beer. Another little tidbit of the subtic factoid, mm. if you will. Because you like wine coolers. I do like sour beer. Yeah. I learned that. Really? Amaretto yeah. sours. <gasps> They're delicious. That tastes like Willy right? Wonka in a cup. <laughs> they taste like a little lemon meringue pie. I always thought it was like literally Willy Wonka in a cup. Willy Wonka? Oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. A cup. Wait, it's like happy, the person? But there's an egg in that. Yeah, Wait, yeah, there's yeah, egg yeah. in what? Yeah, like egg white. There's egg in an amaretto sour. Really? Yeah, yeah. an egg white. That's, that's, that's so gross. Right? But tastes. I'll be a son of a bitch. It does taste yum yum. Don't talk about your mom like that. Well, whatever that is, that'll be the thing that is my negative power up because that sounds real gross. Egg white. Yeah, drinking Omelet. eggs. I just don't get the appeal of beer. It tastes like a wet dog to me. What's wow. your drink of choice? Oh wait, I can tell you that it's whiskey ginger. No. What is no. it? No. Well, I mean, for the when I was a teenage girl, it was a uh, vodka Red Bull. <laughs> Um, but then I transcended into Jack and Coke, which I am now tired of, and now my go-to is uh, limoncello. No, uh, <laughs> bullet whiskey with anything. I don't know what though. It just depends. As long as it's bullet whiskey, I'm good to go. Shit! Now that you mention it, beer kind of does taste like a wet dog. That's, <laughs> that's gonna. Like I'm, not, no. I'm not trying to bash it. I get the people like beer. I mean, maybe I just like the taste of wet dog. I don't know. I like cider. I like sour beer. Anything that tastes good. When Ideally. I was a kid, I used to like to drink, uh, uh, like, Mickey's. Like, we would get 40s of Mickey's malt liquor. Have you guys heard of this? What the hell is that? Yeah, it's like this It's like this gross malt liquor, and we would drink it, and What's we think we were cool. Because, like, it was in rap videos and shit. Uh, so we'd have this, well, and, cool, and somebody pointed out to me that it kind of tastes like soap uh, at one point. And from that point on, I could never take a single sip of it without tasting soap. It's like root beer. It ruined it for Guys, me. that tastes like icy hot. What does icy hot taste like? It's like it's that mint kind of, it's that mint thing. There's mint. It's, it's that like stuff you put on your asshole when you have hemorrhoids. You That's know, what you do. It. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone should say what's like the most warped thing to. I mean, I I. Oh. oh, nicely done. That's not canon though. That's a lie. Have you ever hit the lens? Yeah, once. Oh my god. Can we? Uh, We'll throw it to a clip. Hannibal? Fine, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a good day. He's sitting in a lucky the, seat there. The editor is just like, damn it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait, who's next? Uh, did you pull one? I pulled one a while ago, and then I talked oh, about my hand. Let me do one. Aha! Uh -huh. so Remember that? Here. I talked about this. <laughs> what would you do if you had the power to change your sex slash gender at any time? Ah. Oh. Hook up! Have you guys had this before? I feel like this is a question. I think we had it on certain kinds of friends. Oh, have we? Yeah. Maybe. I feel like we do that kind of stuff. I yeah. think it's pretty obvious what the first thing you would do would be. Go grope mode. Yeah. 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 I don't sure. think there's anything around that. You go grope, full yeah. grope mode. You have a feel around. You just kind of see what you're working with. You see what it's like for an orgasm for the other gender. Apparently, I read that a male orgasm is six seconds, but an average female orgasm is 28 seconds. No. I heard Can it be a yeah. I heard oh. there are a lot of women that cannot uh, receive an orgasm. Well, you're not doing it right. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> Damn it, no, hey, no, no, I can do that. Um, that's not about the I don't, It's just I'm like not... when you say that you heard something, it usually <laughs> it means that like you've This has nothing to do with the hemorrhoid situation. Okay, like, I'm just, it feels I mean, like there's a correlation there. Wanna. I'm just, I just heard that, uh -huh. you know what, no, it's all good. It'd be, it's just a, another factoid that doesn't need to be brought up. This is a path that I would be, no. <laughs> I'm good. 26 seconds though. Did you say 26 or 28? It's like six seconds for a guy. I think it was like 28 seconds for a woman. That's so unfair. 28? 12. And you can get More. multiple orgasms Ooh. too, right? Star. Okay, I'll get up. Sorry. It would be really gross actually if we went for like 28 seconds because just imagine the mess. <laughs> 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 I mean. You just see this poor woman's silhouettes like just on the wall with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our, our, like Spider -Man. our girlfriends and wives and such would be like, could you go into the bathroom and finish that so that it's just like easier to mop up after? Uh, Have you seen Hancock? Uh, when he's drunk? And he like comes and it goes through the roof. Oh. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what you want? <laughs> no, I don't want that. That sounds like uh, not the best power to have. If I had to pick of all the... Superpowers. So when would you two want to 
click your fingers and turn into a woman. When? The, sec when? the second time. Oh, dude. How long? 23 seconds. Sorry, when ladies, I, I gave you an extra five seconds. In what situation is it ideal to be a... Uh, okay, so for dude. example... Okay, no, you got one. I would, I, would, I would turn into a woman, walk into a bar, get a free drink, and then turn back into a dude. In front of the <laughs> hockey. Yeah. And then go, yeah! <laughs> I'd get so many free drinks, but then I wouldn't have to talk to these creeps at well, all. The bars would just... You know, it'd be great. Oh. When would I want to become a man? I mean, I'd want to stay a woman if I got pulled over by the police. Is it easier to get pulled over by the police? I got out of it once. Really? My friend like... has an issue where he has um, really chronic nosebleeds because of a terrible brain issue, and so he punches himself in the nose if he gets pulled over. What? He's like, I'm just on my way to the hospital because it's like his nose does not stop bleeding hardcore. So if you have that, that issue, that is so insane. Out there, yeah, right. The Are you being question serious? Should be like, I'm being serious. When do you turn something awful into a great situation? You get so. chronic nosebleeds. So again, I, I think you're talking bleeds. about yourself. We, I got a nosebleed once because I had a bourbon. <laughs> Aww. What does that have to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I had like strep throat or something. Strep oh, throat. I could say a real embarrassing thing there. If you leave what? strep throat, if you let that go, sometimes you can go to your. Uh, sometimes you can go to your dick. Because of the lymph nodes. I don't know. Strep That's dick? kind of what I'm yeah. thinking. I'm not what a does that even owner. mean? What is that? Strep dick. I was. Yeah. I was like your dick coughs. I was in high school. Yeah. Thought I had an STD, but it was strep. It in was your a dick. strap in my dick. Hold on, dick or balls? I don't know. I don't. But I mean, I just. I just. It's a, it's a lymph well, node thing. So I mean, it, it's a terrible, terrible story. But I. So it's it's like having a sore throat, but inside your urethra. Oh. I don't think no. It just felt like. <laughs> That's well, like, definitely an STD. Well, I couldn't pee. Oh my god. I couldn't. It pee. burns even thinking about yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> it's like screaming every time you pee. <laughs> and then another embarrassing thing. One time I thought I my Stop. appendix was gonna was gonna burst, <laughs> and I went to the and I got an X-ray for it, and it was just poop. <laughs> What? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Can we call this subject's confession booth? <laughs> Do you want people to? I have this nurse who <laughs> was like, Sir, we've prescribed you some uh, milk of magnesia because it's not anything related to your appendix. You're just very constipated. Oh. I was like, At least oh. they called you sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And that's the kindest oh, thing they good. could have done in that situation. I wish I oh almost died from an appendix thing instead of it just being poop. Wait, was there, is there a time that you would turn into a lady? Did we even, did we even talk about that? Um, you said you would turn into, a, you would like to be a female when you get pulled over, but yeah, when but would when, you like to be a male? I think I'd almost like to be a male, like sometimes if, like, you know how some girls, <clears throat> we get emotional and we have arguments, like, ah, and then we stay grudgeful and then, eh. I would almost like to just have both of us just turn into a dude and just be like, boom! Ugh. All right, it's done. And then you anyway, turn back into uh, whew, all right. I've never had that happen in my entire life. But I Isn't do. that a thing that you guys do? It's you a... just kind of boom, and then it's over? Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're. No? If you're from, a, like, yeah, where, I, where I'm from, that's what you do. That's, you know, boys, like, <sighs> give each other a punch, you know? Yeah, boys will be boys, but in my situation, Even I just, just like a argue nice with little... someone. It might yeah, not even, it's not usually like a over punch in quickly. the face or anything, but you might like, like it's a <sighs> shove or like a punch in the arm or something. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, you're, you're serious. You're actually really Bad. mad. But imagine right. if you just turn into a guy and then that happened, then you can just flip back to a girl. Do you guys yeah. get in arguments a lot? So instead of going in bitch mode, you go in Women bitch mode. Women get in arguments. I can't arguments. remember the last argument I got in. Quite a bit, I think. I hate conversation. At least in my experience. Like, you get in lots of arguments? No, I, I don't, but, but a lot of women I know get into arguments with one another pretty frequently. <laughs> Did you just hear what she said? Yeah, she said something normal. No, oh, there's extra meaning. It might be because women don't punch each other enough. I want to activate butch mode and just just for a sec. And but it's it's obviously mutual and it's like it's fine and you kind of like wiped your bloody eye and then you just, boom chick again. Yeah, but then again, it's like on some level, you guys are so much smarter than we are. Like it's really dumb. No, that our, than so, me. our solution is always to just punch each other. That, like, that's do very... you really want to stoop to that level? I mean, I guess if it's messaging. more efficient. That's the thing. It's like it's like you're in an Uber. It's like, would you like to go the quick way or would you like to go the fast <clears throat> way? What? Wait, wait. <laughs> I thought you just said we were smarter. <laughs> what do they say? Do you want to go the, the shortest route or the quickest route? Yeah. Because sometimes the shortest route is congested. That mm -hmm. is the worst analogy. Good lord. Where's the Zach yeah. laugh track when you need it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, dude. That helps. Uh. We got time for one more question. Oh wait, I didn't answer. I would just do it once a no, week when no. I want to touch my tits. 
You just do it That's once a, a week. Great yeah. answer, actually. So before Whoa, you, really overshot that So before that you want to, you know, have a little bit of man fun, you would have a bit of woman fun to get you going, and then you could have <coughs> 25, 23 seconds of glory, and then finish it off with a nice six seconds, and then you're just done. Wow, you really thought that out. No, I was just thinking Wait, about so touching my boobers. you're saying like in the middle of your orgasm, you're your own full you play. You change gender so that you can have an even longer orgasm. So would I be fucking myself? Sex? Yeah. I guess. Isn't that what masturbation is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Today yeah, we learned. Wow. Thanks so much for joining us, guys, at Table Talk. I really hope you learned something. If you didn't learn something about life, you learned something about subtic. Um, and if you have any of those symptoms, please see a doctor. <laughs> it's probably just poop, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maud Garrett. That's Stephen. That's Jeremy. Hello. You've been great. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Bye. In all seriousness, I, d I do think I have a hemorrhoid. <laughs> Hello. I'm a white American male. And I'm not. Correct. And I'm nothing. No, you are a vagina. We've got a brand new comedy channel coming to you called Nuclear Family. We are taking over the Four Human People's channel. Okay! Big fat fatty. No! 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 What are you doing? <laughs> 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 <laughs>10. A two, I got a four. A four <laughs> seven. Kenny can Kenny's stay. generous. You got a six. Kenny's new. He's trying to make you like him.